it's a great pleasure to welcome to What's Next, uh, no stranger to What's Next, I might add, but uh, this time very much involved in the cloud conference that's coming up on the 8th of June. And you need to register if you want to hear what Tabiso Hlachwayo has got to say. He's the Senior Solutions Consulting Manager at Open Text Africa. Always good to have you on the show and hear your insights and looking forward to hearing you back. Welcome back to you, Tabiso. And we've spoken many times before, as I said, so the viewers are very familiar with you. But uh, tell us a little bit about Open Text, uh, a very interesting organization. Uh, every time we come, we talk about Open Text. Tell us about Open Text and what you guys do. Absolutely, Aki. Thank you for the warm welcome. And um, uh, thank you for the, uh, the, the viewers on the other side as well. Yes, uh, Open Text is uh, known for uh, the enterprise information management. Uh, you know, this is literally the lifeblood of all organizations today. And as Open Text, we manage that from content that's coming in that needs to be digitized, to be managed, to be governed and securely uh, controlled, especially in this digital era as well. Um, that's been our story for a very long time till recently with the acquisition of Microfocus. Our story has expanded. We're now going into areas like DevOps, um, you know, bringing a whole lot of um, uh, technology management for organizations end to end. Um, and that's what we're doing today uh, all together as Open Text. Well, that's fantastic. And uh, it's a great acquisition. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later on. We, we're talking today about the cloud conference and about cloud FinOps. And uh, it's a new concept. And every time I speak to you, you introduce new concepts to me. Uh, FinOps is, is something that's, uh, well, I mean, I've heard it been mentioned before, but it's a fairly new concept in the world that we're talking about. What is the relevance of FinOps and why should businesses care about FinOps? Well, uh, uh, actually for us, uh, you know, the, the, the firstly, it, it, it's not a new concept. You know, um, I think it's becoming more and more um, um, relevant today when uh, uh, customers are, are, are adopting heavily, you know, the cloud strategy, you know, going into some of the hyperscalers, etc. But with this adoption comes a whole lot of new things. And so that's where uh, FinOps is born from. It's a culmination of uh, finance and um, uh, DevOps. And really, it's the management and the practice for organizations for them to optimize their cloud adoption for performance setup and essentially reducing that waste of spend that you basically start to see once you go and adopt cloud. Think about it. Suddenly, when you go into the cloud, you can spin up environments much quicker, much easier, and easily the cost can go away with, um, um, uh, with this kind of a setup. So mm -hmm. this concept of FinOps, we're introducing the idea of, yeah, removing all surprises at the end of the month when you get a bill from your cloud service provider. Okay, and it's a very critical component. You know, when you look at the cost, as you said, you know, costs run away very quickly in this world that we're living in today. But it's an interesting philosophy. I mean, you talk about the philosophy of FinOps. What do you mean by this philosophy? Because now you're philosophizing things and you're becoming like a Greek philosopher. But I guess at the end of the day, there's a relevance to, to the kind of philosophy you're talking about. Absolutely, absolutely, Aki. Uh, we, we we believe in um, in three philosophies um, philosophies that make up uh, you know our FinOps. Um, in the main, it's got to do with efficiency. It's got to do with optimization and continuous improvement. Let me expand on each of these for you, um, um, just to, to to unpack in the context of uh, you know uh, the world of FinOps. Essentially. Wasting money is an extremely bad thing for any organization. And essentially, with the philosophy of FinOps around efficiency in particular, we want to make sure that you go far with the resources that you have. How do you ensure that you're gaining more value and um, gaining full insights on every dollar that you're spending from an efficiency perspective? Number two, from an optimization perspective, it's the idea of continuous improvement, right? The idea is if you understand historically where you've been, and there you understand where uh, and you've got a clear visibility of where you should be going, then suddenly you can start to realize um, um, just how far you can stretch uh, 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 more with less. And then uh, let's talk about a continuous improvement philosophy. The idea here is learning again from the past um, and learning from your mistakes. And with that knowledge, how do you ensure that you continue to have yeah, gainable transfers and wins that you can literally see at the bottom line from a financial perspective? These are the three things that form heart and core of our FinOps um, uh, conversations. 
Yeah, it's it's interesting, and 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 if you if you analyze that in deeper, it's at the core of of all the kind of DevOps we talk about within organizations. It's at the core of their philosophy as well. So you you basically dovetailing and, and talking your customers' language. Uh, that's the kind of stuff they want to hear. Um, let let's talk about future state for a second. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's another it's another terminology that uh, we you and I have often discussed when we talk about open text. Can you give me some examples of a future state um, and and the value it can bring to a business? So uh, let let's talk about a couple of these. Um, Aki, you know, from a future state, I think um, um, for me as an organization, if you came to me and said, "Hey." Um, um, what will I gain from FinOps in the next couple of months or years of having been with OpenText together? Well, we're saying things like real-time visibility. Suddenly, you're able to understand and set your own budget, targets, etc. the bench line that you want to reach when you're embarking on a brand new cloud uh, conversation. And ideally, we're providing you with a single view to allow you to track against this particular uh, 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 trend that you've set for yourself. If we talk about um, uh, when I'm going onto the cloud, I'd love to understand my anomalies. What is it that's you know the exception to the rule as I, as I move on to that, and how do I quickly remediate this issue? Yeah, give me the tools to manage that, and these are the things that we'll be able to provide answers to. So CIOs at the end of this, they should be able to say, hey, I had this budget, I've been able to save X, I've been able to achieve against my budget, and so forth. And the idea here is. These things should be done for you in a smart way, right? In a recommendations type of approach. And these are the things that we provide. We provide guard trails for self-service, for business leaders to be able to come back and say, hey, through my cloud journey, this is where I've been. This is where I want to be. And I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. And our FinOps is the one window to providing that. And you're constantly getting an eye's view of what's going on. And that, that, that's important to look at the journey and constantly understand where you're at in that particular journey. And this yep. is where Open Text does, does things very differently. As you and I have discussed in the past, uh, that's the unique selling feature, the unique points that Open Text has. Do you want to share that with us? Uh, what, what exactly does Open Text do differently to others in the market? I can certainly share some thoughts with you, Aki. I have a lot. I'll just keep it at three or four for the purposes of this discussion. Firstly, I want to say that this FinOps concept, if you think about it, it's a very early stages of um, a cloud adoption strategy. So essentially, here with FinOps, we're introducing the idea of understanding your patterns, your spend. It's a starting uh, uh, lineup. There's a whole lot more that we do, and all of this can be done by open text. Uh, another example of what makes us unique, essentially, besides bringing a full offer for you to control and understand the full life cycle inside of your FinOps operation, is the affordability option. The idea here is customers in South Africa are really, really stretched, and we offer very flexible ways of pricing, managing, and being able to accommodate these types of um, uh, offers. In fact, the idea is they should theoretically start to pay for themselves if you implement them in the right way and the recommended way. Then, of course, uh, FinOps and the concept of what we're talking about today is to drive down effort, uh, is to bring cost savings to you. And um, yeah, how about being proactive as a critical thing that we're saying we bring as a differentiator into the game? Um, and these are some of the things that we really, really want to try and bring for customers. It's multiple points of control um, at the right levels leading to yeah, a better cloud-managed self-service offer. Oh, fantastic. Well, listen, uh, if that hasn't whet your appetite, uh, you've got to come down to the cloud conference that's taking place on the 8th of June. If you click on the link below, you can find uh, the details on the conference and Tabiso Flachwayo will be there as will open text sharing even more solutions and thoughts on where the industry is going. Uh, Tabiso Flachwayo, Senior Solutions Consultant Manager at Open Text Africa. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us uh, some insights as to what we can expect at the cloud conference that's coming up on the 8th of June. Thank you for your time, Tabiso. Thank you, Aki. I appreciate the opportunity.